Well, welcome to another video from Matt's Hotel from DCC Central. We've had a name change. Models are more no longer. We are calling ourselves DCC Central and we're spending most of our time <coughs> selling DR5000 by Digi Guys. The Digi Central, what an unbelievable command station. So, in this video, we're showing the 5088RC, which is a Railcom compliant, and the DK5018, greatest and greatest Bluetooth switch decoder. So you notice we call ours LN100 and the old DR4018 is called LN90. <coughs> We've got these running through LocoNet and JMRI and because it's a Railcom compliant decoder we get the Loco ID up in the screen and it's showing the block is occupied. The war is 455, it's in block 1. There it is on the screen on the tablet in Engine Driver Web. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's my throw, sorry, my throttle on my Android phone running Engine Driver as well. <coughs> So I can change the point, I'll wait for this to move up, and throw the point, and do it again, or I can run it through a mouse. This is all going through this little white box here, which is an RPI Raspberry Pi with Steve Todd's engine driver build on a SD card sitting in the back there. So we'll move the logo forward and we'll... And we're going to turn off, so see what happens. Logo ID has moved into the next block. And the block that it came from goes to green. I'll just slow that up so it doesn't drive off the track. So, hit it in reverse. Come backwards. I'll change the point on this tablet this time with the touch screen. Let's see the block. Go red. And I think the reason why we can't see the logo number on this screen is because of the aspect. We are using a seven inch tablet. So we've touched the point, the little black dot, changed the point direction, did it there, changed the loco to a forward, hit the horn. And the Loco ID goes from one block to another. It's 
So here's a clever thing, <coughs> which I think it's it is anyway. See all the little dots up there? They're red, green, yellow. So that indicates to me that this last signal here should be showing red. So let's see what's going on. And showing red it is. So there you go guys, through LocoNet, through the DigiGuys DR5000. You can hook up JMRI and run trains through the DR5000, the 5088RC, and if you don't have Railcom compliant decoders in your locomotives, then you will not get the loco number on the screen. The DK50018 switch decoders looking after the points, and the old 4018 looking after this point itself, which will change out very shortly. So I hope you enjoyed that. DCC Central will be bringing you more as time goes on. Bye-bye.